a lot of people come here in this place where I'm at today from all around the world. It was the capital city, European capital city of 2018. And I'm going to show you around. Check out where I'm at right now near the entrance. This is the fountain, okay, Triton Fountain. I'm gonna show you uh, what's, what it's like during these times, 2021, in here, Valletta, while the sun, right over there, is just setting in, so it's sunset time. So this used to be on, but you seem uh, that they switched it off. So join me around Valletta, we call it the grid. I'm gonna show you uh, what it's like right now. So look, this is Republic Street. This is the main street of Valletta. Hardly anybody here, although it's still around 7 p.m. Okay, so it's 7 p.m. as I'm shooting here. And I'm shooting right now. But uh, a few days ago, two days ago, they started to open the restaurants, uh, but still need to wear masks and everything. But look, it's pretty empty, as you can see here. Look, this is Teatro Real. This was a theater before. Now it's an open theater where, uh, where they used to uh, make plays. Now they, they do concerts in here. So uh, it was pretty awesome when, when it was um, uh, built. They tried to uh, see if they can build it up again. This is the new parliament right here, right at the entrance. Parliament of Malta. So everywhere you see, although Valletta is a grid, Valletta it is a grid. If you see it from uh, from the top, okay. So this is the main street, the open street. And uh, fortunately, see, shops are, are closed down right now. So let's see what we're gonna find and who we're gonna meet. We're gonna go that way, all the way that way to see what's up with Valletta. Okay, so McDonald's is open, but look, there's hardly anyone here, there's nobody here. So, this is what it looks like in uh, April. Check this out. Huh. Alright. There's a cathedral right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to near the breakwater which is on that side, right there. Yeah. So, I've never been to this breakwater, the uh, St. Elmo breakwater, that's the name. You can go and check it out. Uh, but that's what I'm gonna go and uh, show you around, guys. So join me, this is the court, okay? The court, right there, and then behind me. And that's the entrance to the museum, the, the concathedral. This is... There's a lot of people in the summer here when everything opens. You can hardly come here. A lot of people waiting in the queue. So hopefully, a lot of tourists start coming back. Because Valletta without tourists, and also with the locals, but it's, it's empty, you know? And this is a historical site, let me tell you. I mean, built in 1565. As you can see, the building right there, look. old building everywhere and everywhere you look is history so let's continue this is again I'm still on the public street here the cafeteria this is one of the old cafeterias here and this is again it's all shut down I know so you, you, you can see space because there's all tables usually all tables and chairs this is one of the oldest cafeterias in Valletta, not so much in Malta. Look, established in 1837. 
right there. Wow. That's easy, man. So this is uh, St. George Square, right there. Like the fountains. This is the old parliament right here. Which is again crazy building, isn't it? Let me know in the comments below if you like these kind of buildings. You can find them anywhere in here in Baleta. Anywhere you go. So check out those fountains right there. Some people chilling. Also to notice there's a lot of great restaurants in here. One of my favorites is down this street. Okay. And uh, they cook uh, Italian, Mediterranean style. It's called Aron's Kitchen. Go check it out on uh, Google or try TripAdvisor. Okay, Aron's Kitchen. If you're ever here, you need to book because it's a small restaurant and it's right there in this street. So this is St. George's, Street, uh, St. George's uh, Square. Sorry. And you need to go this little alley right here and uh, you're gonna find it. Okay. Uh, I don't know, I know the, the chef is also on TV, but the food, guys, and the service is top notch. So it's in here, this road. Okay, right there. It says nine minutes. Okay, but we need to go here, and then we go to this St. Elmo's Bridge right there. So, uh, as you can see, look, it's a grid. All streets are horizontal and vertical. Another thing I wanted to share with you is before I used to work here, right? So uh, I used to work in a restaurant as a chef, but before there was hardly any hotels. So for those who are looking to come here and, uh, and uh, spend maybe a couple of nights in here, or maybe it's going to be your main stay here, there's, there's a lot of new boutique hotels. So these are 20 rooms, 30 rooms, 40 rooms, hotels. They are all over Valletta, so you can really taste the uniqueness in here. So look, these are alleys right there. So there's Marsam Shed. You can go and swim there as well. You can see Slim as well. So like I said, there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, uh, boutique hotels right now in here. Um, so before there was only the the five-star hotel Phoenicia just near the Triton fountain where I started the video if I put it in the video but now they're all over all over and that's a great way to see uh, the, the city because again you can spend a couple of nights and then maybe you go to the north or go to etc etc so look this is where people from here live actually this is the south area and we're pretty close Let's see, we can go from here. So we're here at the Mediterranean Conference Center here, the Knights Hospitalier, also known as well. There's the War Museum around here as well. There's a lot of museums in here, so you're that kind of person that, uh, that loves museums. Definitely, this, there's a lot in here. Uh, in Valletta, so I need to go We're pretty close four minutes. Okay, I need to go uh, down here because that's where we need to go. Check this out though, let me show you the nice view from this side. Hold on, wow, look at this! This is amazing. Look, check this out. Pretty cool. I think we found, yeah, found the stairs. Actually, this is where I need to go. But before I go, I wanted to check out this view. This is the uh, there's a bell, okay, it was given by uh, Queen Elizabeth. I vlogged in uh, Calcara and also in Birgu. Check out the videos on my channel. This is the Malt experience, so uh, if you want to see. You want to see a lot uh, or in the history of Malta basically in a nutshell this is the place to go so again we're uh, in this side of, of Valletta uh, definitely it's a worth it okay worth the investment I don't know exactly these days how much 
they charge for it but the malt experience in a nutshell you see you're gonna see the history of malta you can go in here also to take a swim a lot of uh, people do that as well so let's go and let's move check out look wow check out this view absolutely brilliant wow just taking a couple of pictures right here because it's amazing all right moving on let's go let's find this uh, breakwater i take a picture right there and right there awesome so as you can see look at the building the building here it's been here for many many years like sent like 16 1565 was built okay so imagine around that time so i'm talking about 1700 1600 century here and uh, this played a strategic place okay valletta uh, wasn't conquered by the ottoman and uh, this is uh, what you're gonna see also in the malta experience how a fort like this also in the second world war which there are, there are places many places where malta was bombarded Yes, we are on the right track. This is where that, that, that's where we need to go. Okay, that's where I need to go and show you around. So there's a vessel coming in right now. Check out these views. Again, I've never been here. So these are like boat houses. People come in summer and spend uh, maybe an overnight or weekend so they can swim right there. It's a beautiful view and they have this beautiful view of the three cities. Okay, so these are the three cities. Some people here. <laughs> couple right there we don't want to disturb them so again I'm gonna head this way like I said and uh, you can I can spend hours and hours and hours on a video to describe uh, this magical city capital city Malta's capital city was Medina silent city uh, I need to go and show you there uh, some other time so uh, check out keep up keep coming here and check out the videos because like I said, while I'm here, I want to show you this beauty, okay, of cities and towns and villages and also the people when we're going to meet them and uh, encounter them and ask them questions, etc, etc. So look, pristine sea, uh, look, hardly any vessels in here right now, unfortunately, usually cruises coming in from here, okay, this is the entrance to go to the marinas to uh, stay at the, at the I mean the cruises stay and uh, and, and land okay uh, in the port Valletta port there's waterfront right there as you go there so this the upper this is the lower baraka where there is the bell and then there is the upper baraka right there I mean this is as you can see you know pretty chill pretty relaxing area and uh, this breaking breakwater okay st elmo's breakwater that's the name uh, they just i mean recently refurbished it like five years ago maybe i'm wrong okay let me know in the comments if uh, you know exactly the date but uh, they did a great job because i love the the architecture the 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 how it looks basically uh, this this bridge so i don't know if i can go to uh, uh, to uh, the end of this breakwater. We'll see. Let's find out Once what? Wow, let's take a look at this Oof. So you can also, there's also stairs here, you can go and swim here. Nice. It's Hansa Sikha, I'm like the sun at the bridge, you know? Yeah. Bridge, my love. The bridge, my love. The bridge, my love. The bridge, my love. All right. Thank you. For summer, some shit. Eh, it's a boat street on the ground, TGD. Boat street. All right, Jimmy. Thank you. Tah de mao, inti? Tah de mao? Yeah. Ek, the letan, tan dek, vedo ta si, bi. Vedo ta an dek. Ne, la nik, vedo ta an dek. La vie. All right, Mantel Fresh. Thank you, Ivin. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, hey, thank you. Bonsoir.
So I asked that guy if he works here, he said no, just passing some time in his boathouse. Look. And then he told me that the access to the bridge is closed. So maybe we see a fence or a gate or something. But, okay, but uh, it goes to the street called Bow Street. It goes to Mars Amshet. So maybe you go around and uh, maybe you encounter a cave or, or a even a tunnel, because in here, during Second World War, they built tunnels. In fact, Valletta, underneath Valletta, right now the city, there's all its tunnels. So you can go downstairs. Obviously, nowadays, they're restricted. You need to know certain people, or maybe they can guide you in. Uh, but check out the waves crashing right there. So let's go and venture. To this to this uh, breakwater so let's go here okay so it's a rocky situation whoa mm -hmm. interesting cool check out the end of the the side wow a lot of building a lot of kind of cliffs over in malta you cannot you have to be careful so if you ever near uh, some 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 walls like this or cliffs like this just be careful you know because you never know so look i think this is one of the shelters let's check it out i don't have light with me but Wow, let's see if I can put some light. Oh. Yeah, man, gonna be some, some tunnel that leads to other side. The lot of feast over here in Malta that goes around Valletta. One of them is 15th August. So 15th August is one of Malta's most celebrated feasts. Okay, we have a lot of feasts, like I said, because this, like, where, where am I right now? Where you are seeing, okay, through, the, through my lens, one last convoy came finally with food and livestock because people on the island were starving, okay, uh, during, again, the, uh, the Second World War, uh, it's, it was the only, the convoy of Santa Maria, we, we know it. This was, okay, this was a lifesaver and saved pretty much a lot of lives. Thanks to the tenacity and they didn't give up and the convoy made it to this port, the Grand Harbor. So if you ever learned or maybe saw videos or documentaries about the island, check out Maybe the convoy of Santa Maria, 15 August, was the day that the Maltese people just saw this convoy made it to shore. And finally they could eat because it was a bad situation, even better, bad, uh, worse, sorry, even worse than it is in most places right now. But that is why it's a feast, okay, 15 of August. And I wanted to share with you this, uh, this story. So let's move ahead. Because we're losing light, guys. We're losing light. Also, if you noticed, I'm shooting with a new camera, my Sony. If you want to check it out, links in the description below. I'm uh, very happy before, because I did a lot of research and finally I found this camera. So let me know what you think about the shoot. So production level up of the vlogs. And again, there's a, we did this bridge, blue bridge. Oh, check out. Nice. All right. Oh, look at this guy.
let's see if the gate is open or not. So that guy, the gentleman, said no, but you never know if you're in here. You have to go and check. And since we're losing light, but it's just right there, I'm gonna see if uh, we manage. Because I saw people taking pictures on the bridge, but maybe they did an appointment or not. I don't know what's this kind of, what's this thing for? What's this for? Oh people can plug is it? No, it's closed. Okay. I don't know what's uh, this for. If you know, let me know. Check out the fort. This is Fort St. Elmo guys. Okay, so this is the fort. Uh, I believe you can go in as well. It's, uh, it's, it's, if you're ever here, you can go in. If they're open, obviously, after this. But hey, one thing I didn't mention earlier is this. That if you are looking to spend your vacation over here this summer, okay? So summer of 2021, I don't know when, when you are watching this video. The government is giving you, if you stay in four or five star hotels, they're giving you 200 euros pretty cool okay I haven't seen any country doing that so it's an, like an incentive incentive for you to come here and checking out this beauty it's hot in summer so make sure you prepare your uh, your uh, uh, towels your swimwear and uh, whatnot and then join here so that's a pretty cool thing that they are doing okay 200 euros uh, for if you stay in four or five star hotel there are other things go check out on the internet guys you can find everything nowadays on the internet right all right so let's see do we have access yes we do all right let's go this way okay hear voices let's be careful here oh look at the stairs the condition is not so helpful Okay, there's uh, a group of people right there. Young guys and ladies, of course. Oh, this. Oh, this is a nice view as well. Pretty interesting. All right. Oh. Graffiti over here. All right. Shake this up. Could it be a tunnel? I don't know. Not sure. It's too much. Like, wow, look, look at this. It's like a window right there. Check this out, it's like, it's like the window. The window of Duera. Looks like the window of Duera. Obviously in miniature. It's not anymore with us. All right. Okay guys, we made it. Damn it. Bridge is closed like this guy. Like the guy told me. Look, this is the view from this side, so sunset time. Let's see if we can at least show you what's in here. Look, so project part financed by European Union, refurbishment of Valletta and Marsashlok main breakwaters. Yeah, because Marsashlok, which is a fishing village, they also uh, Recently though, I think it was a few months ago that they recently refurbished also at the breaking breakwater. But it's nothing like this. This is much more, you know, since it's Valletta, you know, the capital, they invested much more money. And look, whoa. So keep clear, no entry beyond, beyond this point, so it's prohibited. But look, this is what it looks like. Breakwater.
unfortunately we cannot make it so look this is from this angle look at this view i mean looks 14 10 more right there and this is we go around this is boat street you go to marsam shed where i like to swim there's also a couple of good restaurants in here and that's Slima. you can take the ferry actually from right this street right there you can take the ferry to go to Slima. which is pretty cool okay wow look at this the waves crashing in the mall notice we say mall it's part of the breakwater here, the bridge. All right, let's see if we can at least show you also on this side. Damn, this mask. It's hot, super hot today as well. Check this out. Wow. Look at this. This is a better angle. Unfortunately, guys, I couldn't go over it's fine enough to come here and check it out and so you can see it let me know if you ever went to uh, breakwater breakwater in your country okay, let me know where and uh, so maybe when i'm there in this country i can go and uh, shoot the vlog shoot the vlog there as well so there you have it i made it to my destination Malacos breakwater saint elmo's breakwater right here I'm losing light, so at sunset time, I'm off to uh, my, I'm off to eat something right now because again it's dinner time over here. So once again, this is it. This is what it looks like all the vessels, the cruises, vessels. You know, um, uh, come here. It's not a free port, so the containers goes to Brisa Buja. Okay, the containers for livestock and uh, and products. But this is where the tourists, the first tourists, is what they see when they come in Malta, if uh, they come with a cruise. One last thing, great news recently was announced that uh, now from June, they're gonna provide a service, which I was hoping. Uh, and finally, uh, there is, I'm gonna do a vlog for sure uh, when uh, June happens, when, when June comes, which is uh, in a few months. They're going to do a service from Valletta to Gozo. Okay, that's pretty awesome for those who live in the south area or they work and live in the south area. So uh, now we can go from Valletta to Gozo. It takes you around 40, 45 minutes. That's what they said. I don't know the cost of it, uh, but soon they're going to mention that as well, as well, for sure. So that's a great service that uh, we've been looking for because right now as it is, we need to go to Chirkewa, which is the in Meliha on the north side takes like an hour sometimes with the car 45 minutes if there's some traffic so it's a big hassle but now in 15 minutes you can come to Valletta or 20 minutes and then you take the ferry which is a lifesaver so having said that that's it see you on the next vlog